Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood. You are watching The Political Vigilante. So one of the things I talk about on this show, um, one of the reasons of this show, I've been a stand-up comic for a long time and I'm a filmmaker. I've directed two documentaries, one called Afghanistan about me performing in Afghanistan for the United States military. Another one's called Earbuds, uh, which is about podcasting. I interview people like Mark Maron and Joe Rogan, Aisha Tyler, and the progressive comedy tour that Ron Placona and I do, it's about like trying to get a message across, this progressive anti-war message, this Green New Deal, this Medicare for All, this taking care of the 99%, getting the message out that there's not two parties in this country, there's, there's two classes, there's the ruling class and then all of us. And so I always like an inventive way to get the message across. And one of the things I talk about is climate change. It's real. It's happening. We are in complete, we are in the middle of climate collapse. The federal government has predicted that Florida is going to be underwater and much of the East Coast by 2040, if not sooner. So that's why I support Bernie's Green New Deal. It's the boldest one I've seen. I support the Sunrise Movement. It's why I voted for Jill Stein in 2016 because she and the Green Party were the first <laughs> authors of the Green New Deal. It's why I like Tulsi Gabbard because she wrote the Off Act. And so I'm really about how can we get people to pay attention more. Here's something really interesting about a type of wetsuit. This company made this video about this new high-tech wetsuit, wet, wetsuit. I wear, I'm a surfer, I wear a wetsuit in the winter, that to help protect you from all of the pollution in the ocean. I've gotten uh, friends and colleagues who are scientists saying, this is incredible. I want to help build the sensors and, and help you make this thing a reality. Uh, I've gotten calls of, come on, this can't be real. And we've gotten a lot of people that said, what a shame that you guys need to create a wetsuit like this. We thought it was pretty clever, get people to want something and then start questioning why they wanted it and, and then obviously realize, oh God, this is for this apocalyptic future we want to avoid. Then the concept was, let's sell it as if it's real. So this will put it up amongst all of their wetsuits. We built those beautiful ads around it and we put it out last week and it is doing exactly what we had hoped. Some people are like, oh my God, this is real. Others are like, hey, why are you focusing on this wetsuit when you should actually be solving the environmental problem? Others are questioning whether it's satire. So I think we created the conversation we wanted to create and ultimately, it is to send a message that if we don't get our act together, that is the kind of wetsuit you're gonna need in the future, sadly. In Florida, they've had these horrible algal blooms, these red tides that are so toxic that people are, it's hurting their lungs and their eyes on land. I've talked to surfers who had to get out of the water because their lungs and uh, eyes were burning. I recently, could not go outside like a lot of people in Los Angeles because we had all the wildfires. And so the wind, when a wind blows uh, what's called offshore, then the smoke from the hills came down and all, like I woke up one morning, I sleep with my windows open, just my window open just a little bit. And I woke up at 6.30 in the morning because I smelled all this smoke and I was like, oh God. And it was from wildfires 10, 10 miles away or 20 miles away or something. You know, I've seen beach closures. In, in Los Angeles, when it rains, all the water just goes into, they just spill it into the ocean. They don't collect it, they don't clean it. 
And so you can't surf for 72 hours after it rains in LA. Uh, in Imperial Beach, right on the border with San Diego and Tijuana, the beaches are closed 50% of the time due to pollution. Surf and surfers use the ocean more than any other single user group, and they're in it the whole time by definition. So they're the first to get sick if the water's polluted. They're often the first to notice change because they're down at these places all the time. Um, these sort of elements that make a surf spot work are really subtle. So they, if they see changes in that with sea level rise or different storm directions or different beach profiles, they'll notice it. And they're, you know, they're sort of natural students of the environment to understand where and when it's going to be best to surf. I mean, I, I'm an eternal optimist. There are going to be impacts of climate change, regardless of what we do tomorrow. I feel like all the environmental problems that we have, have solutions. We know the answers, we have the science. It's really just a matter of driving political will to get them done. So that's what I wanted to show you this because the ad did its job. A bunch of surfers like myself were like, what? Like it's gotten so bad and, and you know, the wet, the wetsuit's not gonna fix the problem, it's putting a Band-Aid. That's, they did, it was inventive. Because I notice it as a content creator, I'm here to tell you the majority of my climate change videos, and I do one a week, I've made that promise to myself and to all of you, a lot of them don't do as, get as many views as my other videos. But I keep making them. But I made one with a positive about that. The, I did the video about the algae that can pull CO2 out of the air, which I was like, man, if we just put more money into that, it could pull the CO2 out of the air. What if they made one that pulled methane out of the air since all this methane is getting released by the polar ice caps melting at an alarming rate. I did that video about the permafrost in Siberia and the scientists, the Russian scientists going, oh man, right? So I'm showing that there's a, there's a possibility for this. And this is good because it got people waking up. It got people going, man, we got to do something about this. Is this real? And they did it smart. They made it look like any of those ads on Instagram, you know, like check out this new tech gadget. So everyone's all cool tech. Oh man. If it's so bad that I have to buy that suit and wear a full mask and that's what I have to do to go surfing, man, we're in trouble. I don't want to live in that world. It's why I'm pushing so hard because I think Bernie's Green New Deal is the only chance we've got. And with Stephanie Kelton, who knows MMT, Bernie, I think, is not talking about MMT because it's too much for people. They're already, they're already calling him a crazy socialist and his plans are so out there, even though in Europe, in Western Europe, Bernie's a goddamn centrist. But because we're gonna, we're gonna, we're already facing it here in California with the wildfires. Northern California had rolling blackouts because PG&E was like, made some dumb mistake or what. I don't know the specifics of it, but I don't trust that a utility company did the right thing. I don't trust that. Last year, Verizon, like anyway, we have climate refugees here in America. We had flooding in Manhattan. We, we, we you know, they're predicting if you go to noaa.gov, that is a governmental website, and do the, do the map predictor for the future, type in 2040, and it'll show you all the coastlines are gonna be completely flooded. A third of the population lives on the east coast of the United States, so that's 100 million people. Where are they gonna go? What are they gonna eat? Where are they gonna, what are we gonna do? We gotta get this taken care of now. We don't have time to debate whether climate change is real. It's happening, it's now, and that's what this does. So I applaud them. I'm a member of the Surfrider Foundation, and if that's what my money is going for is to get the message out, because just putting out a video saying the fish are dying and the ocean's rising, I think people are almost getting numb. It's like war. Just like, oh yeah, the environment, boy, we should do something about that. That's like the neoliberal response. Boy, we should do something about that. I don't want to give the oil money, the oil lobbies my money anymore, so I'm going to buy a plug-in hybrid. You're still giving them your money. <laughs> and it's going to take drastic action. And the thing I point out 
and I pointed out in that machine that, that, that new technology, that, that algae that's pulling the CO2 out of the air, we put real money behind it, then we can get research and we can get this done. Like, here's the thing, like I said in Los Angeles, all we gotta do is spend some money. They did it about 10, 15 years ago, they put right by the Santa Monica Pier where I live, this, mis this building, they call it Smurf, Santa Monica Urban Runoff Facility. It collects rainwater, cleans it, and puts it back in. So we just, every time it rains, we have droughts here, collect all that rainwater, instead of going through gutters and putting garbage and oil and whatever else out into the ocean, collect it, clean it, pull the garbage out of it. You have all these huge man-made rivers that collect all the rainwater and send it to the ocean. Just collect, put, put these urban runoff facilities right at the end of where, but that would take a lot of money. Does the city of Los Angeles have this money? Does the state of California have this money? But the federal government can do this. If you study MMT, we have a fiat currency. The Federal Reserve issues currency. They could just go, here you go. Could put people to work building these facilities. Look, because if you start closing beaches, it's gonna kill your tourism dollar. Healthcare costs are gonna go up because people are gonna get contaminated, all of it. The fishing industry dies, food sources are, I mean, it's on down the line. So it affects every area. It's not just like, oh, a handful of surfers are gonna complain. It's everybody. So this is awesome the Surf Rider Foundation did this. And this is the kind of inventive way to get people to wake up, to do something about it. So another way, great way to, uh, to get involved. Thanks for coming uh, here to watch the show. Please support what I do at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. That's a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. Uh, progressive Comedy Tour, Ron Placone and I, we're coming to Australia in November. Uh, we're going to be in Ventura and Los Angeles in December and a bunch of cities in 2020. San Francisco, Tucson, Seattle, Portland, Orlando, Cleveland, Detroit, on and on. We're adding cities all the time. Go to GrahamElwood.com for all your tour dates. I cannot do this show without your support. Thank you so much. And together, we're all going to make Gotham great again. Boom. <laughs>